Hi, this is Terence Wu with Hawkridge Systems. In this video, we're going to use SolidWorks Simulation to set up a stress analysis on this forged aluminum wheel from ForgeLine Motorsports. Before we begin, I want to mention that I recently presented an hour-long webinar on this same topic, and in the webinar, I went into a lot more detail, discussing physical test requirements, different simulation setup approaches, fatigue analysis, and more. So if you're interested in a more in-depth look, I'd recommend you stop watching this video now and click on the link to the full webinar recording. You're still here. Oh, okay. Yeah, a one-hour webinar can be a bit much to sit through. I get it. Let's quickly set up a stress analysis on this wheel. We'll go to the Simulation tab of the Command Manager and create a new simulation study. We'll choose a static study and click OK. We'll get a new tab at the bottom of the screen for our static one study, and our simulation tree will appear on the left below the feature tree. To set up the analysis, we'll just work our way through the tree. First up is the material properties of the part. Aluminum 6061T6 was already applied as the CAD model material for this wheel, so that transfers to the simulation study. If we right click and select Apply Edit Material, we can see the properties that are applied and we don't need to do anything else. Next up are the connections. This is where we deal with interactions between different components in an assembly, but since this is a one-piece wheel, we can skip this step. In the physical test we're trying to replicate with this simulation, the outer rim is clamped down and the wheel is bolted to a hub. Then. A load is applied to the hub one foot from the mounting face. To represent this, we'll grab the Fixed Geometry option and select this face on the rim. Then we'll add a remote load to the hub mounting face. By referencing a coordinate system defined at the mounting face, we can specify a distance of 12 inches and then apply the load at that location. Next, we need to mesh the model. We'll adjust the mesh size and click OK. Fast forward two minutes and we've got our mesh. And now we can run the simulation. Fast forward another minute and a half and we have our results. Looking at our Von Mises stress plot, we can see the highest stresses in these areas highlighted in red. are near 24 KSI. This is less than the material's yield strength, so this wheel can support the applied load without any permanent deformation. As you can see, it doesn't take too much time or effort to create a stress analysis, and I hope you found this walkthrough helpful. Now the test setup we created here is actually for a cornering fatigue test, so we're not just interested in whether the wheel can withstand the load once. We want to know whether the wheel can survive 200,000 cycles. If you'd like to see how to set up a fatigue study to determine that, check out the webinar recording. There's lots of other good stuff in there too. All right, I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching.